People are talking about a controversial bill working its way through the Michigan legislature that would allow state residents to carry a concealed pistol without a permit. About 6,000 of you shared this story from our Facebook page tonight. Fox News' Randy Wimbley has a closer look at this proposed new law. Right now, someone who doesn't have a concealed pistol license can open carry a firearm legally. But the moment that gun is covered up by a shirt or a jacket, they run afoul of the law. That's just one reason why some state lawmakers want to shake up our current gun laws. Should people be able to carry a concealed pistol without a CPL? I don't believe so. I would think so. I mean, and there's still background checks that are still conducted. There needs to be some checks and balances in any area. And soon that debate will be had on the state house floor, where lawmakers will vote on a four bill package that takes aim at concealed pistol licenses. The eight hour class to obtain the CPL would no longer be required to carry a concealed firearm. That training is still going to be available, but at least now people will have a choice. Mainly if you're an older person, if you're financially um, strapped and you can't afford the classes, you can't afford the permitting process, you have to renew that every few years. It's, it's a long process and a lot of people can't um, afford that and they should not be denied their Second Amendment right to protect themselves. Background checks for gun purchases would remain in place if the package is approved. And people who are not legally able to carry a gun would still be barred from doing so. Democrats are slamming the plan, and law enforcement organizations have deep reservations. We're going to come up on somebody, and there's no requirement for them to tell us that they have a gun. So if we're going along, and actually the trooper notices, you know, the bulge in their clothes is pretty obvious, and you know it's going to escalate really quickly before anybody has really a chance to do anything. Blaine Coops from the Michigan Sheriff's Association is against the legislation in its current form because it will allow people to carry concealed firearms with no training, saying, we are a society of rights and responsibilities. We can't have one without the other. Here's the thing about rights and responsibilities. With those rights come that responsibility, and if you do not behave responsibly, you can and should and, possi and possibly will be held accountable. Firearm safety instructor Rick Ector says he's not concerned about the legislation running him out of a job. In other states in which they've gone constitutional carry, the actual market for training actually increased. Gun owners would still need a CPL to carry their firearms in other states that have reciprocity agreements with Michigan. Now, those bills still have a long way to go. First, the House would have to vote on it. After that, the Senate. And if it passes both chambers, Governor Snyder would have to sign off on it. A spokesman says Snyder would review the legislation closely if it's approved. Stay tuned. I'm Randy Wembley, and this is The Edge.